Hey there, this is your orchestration tutor, Thomas Goss. I'm very pleased to announce the 2022 Orchestration Challenge. This year, we'll be orchestrating the elegant, somewhat impressionistic Prelude in G by Ukrainian composer Vasil Barvinsky. Even before our current world situation, I'd been thinking a lot about Ukrainian music. From the time that I first heard Glier's symphonies and his tone poem Les Serenes, I've been fascinated with the musical culture of Ukraine. From the rich lyricism of romantic composers like Viktor Kosenko, to intriguing composers who flowered into modernity in the mid-20th century, like Stefania Turkovich, and then some of the composers of today who imbue their music with a deep thoughtfulness, like Valentin Silvestrov. Barvinsky is mostly forgotten today, and that's a real shame, because at one time his music had at least a modest degree of worldwide recognition. Barvinsky served as a teacher and director at the Lviv Conservatory for over three decades. Turkovich was one of his earliest students. Over that time, he composed a number of works for piano, chamber, orchestra, and choir. And those pieces which I've heard have a wonderfully vivid quality that invites the listener to engage on a level of intense emotion with often subtle nuances. But we'll never know exactly how many works he composed or how great his greatest music might be, because in the infamous Soviet composer Purge of 1948, Barvinsky was denounced alongside many other composers. Barvinsky was sent to a labor camp for 10 long years, and his scores were publicly burned. After his release and rehabilitation in 1958, Barvinsky spent the rest of his years trying to reconstruct his destroyed life's work. So we should be all the more thankful for the survival of bright little gems such as his five preludes, which were originally composed in 1908 and published 10 years later. They're all enchanting and diverting with a touch of that deeper engagement you'll hear in later works, but I find the first prelude of the set in G major to offer the most enticements as an orchestration project. I discussed the prelude in more depth in my special video dedicated to possible pitfalls you might run into while orchestrating it. But before you jump to that video, I recommend that you view the orchestration challenge guidelines in the rest of this video, and then watch the official recording plus score video that I've also just released. I'm honored and delighted by the involvement of Ukrainian pianist Violina Petrachenko, who's agreed to let us study the work accompanied by her superb recording. This year, I've also released a general guide to my orchestration challenges, which goes into a bit more detail about how they work. And of course, there are additional resources on the Orchestration Online website events page, with templates and a new corrected engraving of Barvinsky's Prelude in G. But while you're busy orchestrating your entry, please have a thought for the Ukrainian musicians and composers of 2022. Many of our Ukrainian friends in the Orchestration Online community are displaced, injured, or worse. I have more to say about this in my video, Help Save Ukrainian Musicians. And while I want to avoid politics on this channel and in the group generally, I feel a sense of responsibility towards those whose lives are under the gun right now. Have a look at that video, and with enormous respect and empathy, I dedicate this challenge to them. And now for the 2022 Orchestration Challenge Guidelines. 